ladies welcome back to my channel so today i will be sharing with you guys my wash routine for my kinky 4c type of hair so um you guys have been asking what do i do with my hair when it's time what products do i use when it's time to wash and how does wash day look for me so um i kind of tried to first of all try to steer away from using wash day because um, literally we take like a day to wash our hair and that is ridiculous it should never take a day to wash your hair um, I had the opportunity um, of having Felicia Leatherwood celebrity stylist or natural hair stylist Felicia Leatherwood do my hair and she handled my 4c hair like it was nothing y'all she washed my hair um, conditioned my hair blow dried my hair and did some like flat twist braids in my hair, all in a matter of two, maybe two hours. That's all. Okay, and it usually takes me like the entire day. And that's not even including styling my hair, just the entire day just to wash it. So I want to eliminate that. Um, that is why I start my wash routine late at night because I've challenged myself to make sure that it only takes me about two hours three hours max to get everything done including washing deep conditioning protein treatment um, steaming treatment blow drying all of that stuff within a matter of three hours so let's get started thing that I'm going to do is get rid of all of my shed hair so basically I just go throughout my whole head and I just detangle it and I do like a quick like finger run through just quickly because I really don't have time and I want to be gentle with my hair but I don't want to take all year just to wash my hair so I start from the ends and then I work my way up and I use this wide tooth comb because it really gets in there without um, snagging my hair and causing breakage and all that stuff so that section is done I'm gonna do my whole hair and I will be back okay, so now that I am complete with my um, detangling my first step of detangling I'm going to shampoo my hair the first thing that I do when I shampoo my hair is I do a dry shampoo and what this does is target the scalp and removes the buildup and the dirt from your scalp first because when you're washing you really want to concentrate on the scalp because that's where most of the dirt and the buildup is and you want to remove that so I like to target that first I let that I massage it in for about five minutes and then I let it sit for an additional five minutes so a total of ten minutes and then I go and I rinse out um, the shampoo and what that does is when you're rinsing it got when you're rinsing the shampoo out the shampoo and the suds go down the hair strand and it cleans your actual hair. So the first step is targeting your scalp and then the second step is going to concentrate on the actual hair itself. I am using this shampoo by Shea Moisture. It is their thickening shampoo. This is my first time using this particular um, style or this particular line of the Shea Moisture. I usually use the pink bottle one. I don't remember the name of it, but I usually use the pink bottle one, but I'm going to use this one today. So I take about that much and I just basically target my scalp. You want to make sure you get all in your scalp. You want to make sure you target all areas in your scalp so you can really get in there and remove that buildup and all of that dirt. That the shampoo has sat on my hair for a total of like 10 minutes. I'm going to rinse it out and um, continue washing my hair and focusing on my actual hair this time. While I'm in the shower, one of the things I do while I'm washing my hair because I have such really kinky and my hair is just really, really tightly coiled, a lot of times us 4C naturals and women with kinky hair around the 4 category, our hair can get really, really matted and tangled and just, you know, very hard to deal with after the water has hit it. So when I'm shampooing, I'm always going down in this motion and I'm also pulling on my hair, like flattening it and smoothing my hair out. That way my hair kind of stays stretched um, in a stretched state so that it doesn't, um, so it's not so difficult 
when I further detangle my hair and all that stuff. So that is one way you want to wash. You want to make sure that you're going down and that you're not like going like this. And that was my problem initially when I first went natural is I washed the just the wrong way and that is what made wash day an actual day as opposed to hours. So that is how I wash now. Now I'm going to do that and you guys won't be able to see me as I wash my hair. But after I'm finished with the washing, I'm going to do a protein treatment. And I love this one right here. I went over this in my favorite products for 4C hair. This is the Giovanni Protein Hair Infusion. I will be putting this on my hair for a total of about five minutes and then rinsing it out. So I always do this when I wash my hair. Protein treatment helps strengthen your hair and just helps with the overall health of your hair. So um, if you don't have one, I do suggest getting one. This one's good because it is moisture infused. So you don't have to do a step one, step two type of ordeal. This one is really good. If you're short on time and you didn't have time to deep condition, you can always just leave this and this can be the final step. But um, since I do have a little bit of time right now, I'm going to do my protein treatment after I wash and then I will come back on camera and we can continue with the deep conditioning. Okay guys, so I'm back from washing my hair and doing my protein treatment. Now it's time to deep condition. For my deep conditioner, I am using this deep treatment mask by um, Shea Moisture. And I love to use this because um, just how it makes my hair feel after it's, um, after it's processed. It just gives my hair a lot of life. It makes it soft, manageable, and all of that stuff. So what I like to do is just place it on my hair. And again, I'm smoothing down. Apply the, the deep conditioner. I'm going to then take my Q Reduce Steamer and then steam my hair while the conditioner is on it. After I'm done steaming my hair, I then place a plastic cap over my hair and allow my hair to process with the deep conditioner on for an additional 15 minutes. And then I will rinse it out and then, all right, deep conditioner is all rinsed out. Now it's time to blow dry. So what I'm gonna do is section my hair off. Section, I'm going to begin by taking my hair and gently detangling with this paddle brush. I find it easier to detangle and to blow dry my hair when I use the paddle brush. That's why I'm using this. Then I take a heat protectant and I'm using this one by Tresemme. And I just spray it on my hair, smooth it out. I take my blow dryer and this is just a Conair blow dryer that I got from Target. Airflow on high, and then I'm going to start with the hot setting only to stretch my hair as I hold it. I'm going to use a tension method, so I'm going to put it on the highest um, airflow and I'm going to put it on the highest temperature. And then once my hair feels like it's stretched by me holding it, then I'm going to lower the temperature as I use the paddle brush to brush it. So now that my hair is blow dried, I am going to do my final step, which is moisturizing my hair. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to use this um, leave-in conditioner by Shea Moisture. It is their restorative conditioner. You can use it as a leave, a rinse out conditioner or a leave-in, and I'm going to be using it as a leave-in. Next, I'm going to seal with some castor oil just to make sure that moisture is locked into my hair. Especially after you blow dry, your hair can become, it can feel really dry. So you wanna make sure you really moisturize it well and seal it with a good oil so that that moisture can stay in your hair and your hair won't feel dry and brittle. All right, you guys, that is all for my wash routine video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As far as how often I wash my hair, I try to wash my hair 
every two to three weeks because I do blow dry my video. If you have any other questions in regards to caring for 4C hair, questions, concerns, or any of that, make sure you guys leave them down below and I will answer those for you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.